Hi guys, welcome back. So this is my first video for 2024 and I actually made it last night. So it's a last night and today kind of video. Um, last night I made cinnamon buns. So I'm going to show you how, how I made them. But I saved my welcome to 2024 and um, all my chit chat through the video till today because I was making them this morning. I was putting them in the oven for breakfast. So today that's what I'm going to be showing you is how to make cinnamon buns. And what I did is I found a copycat recipe of Cinnabon Cinnabons. And I am really looking forward to trying this to see how I do with it. Um, well, <laughs> I already know how I did with them. I made them last night. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it was, I had trouble with it. I don't do a lot of bread recipes because I don't use yeast very often and I tend to screw it up a lot so I'm being honest here come on I'm standing off on the right foot so I had to redo the yeast part four times before I figured it out and I still didn't figure it out but you'll see through the video and I'll talk you through it like I do with all my other ones so let's get to the video and I'll see you when they come out of the oven I want to set the record straight as I begin this recipe that I screwed this up three times before getting it right on the fourth try. I don't make recipes that require yeast, at least not very often, and if I do, it's usually in my bread machine. So, first of all, I'm following the recipe. I halved the recipe because I don't need 12 cinnamon buns. I only wanted five or six. So, let's start with that. I halved the recipe. I started with a half a cup of warm milk it's 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I put it in my bowl and then I added one and a quarter teaspoons of yeast to it. And I used quick active yeast and it did not work. So I dumped it out. I did that three times. I cut out the other times because really you don't need to see me restart it three times. All right. So the fourth time I switched from using quick active yeast to traditional yeast and I followed the instructions on the back of the jar of yeast. I used a half a cup of warm milk, 115 degrees Fahrenheit, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar and it says to stir it together. So that's what I did. I stirred it all together, followed those instructions and then it says to let it sit for 10 minutes. I let this sit for 10 minutes. I finally got success on my fourth try. It bloomed and looks like it's ready to be used. So now I can continue on and make the rest of this recipe. <laughs> All right, so with the yeast ready, I'm gonna take a room temperature egg and I'm gonna beat it with a fork just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add that into the yeast mixture. I'm also gonna add two and a half tablespoons of melted butter into the yeast. The butter is just barely lukewarm and a quarter cup of sugar. Mix that all together. And then I'm gonna put it on my mixer with the paddle attachment. I'm also gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna start with adding a quarter cup of the flour and let that start mixing. So as it's mixing with the paddle attachment, I'm gonna start adding some of the flour until it's all combined. I'm then going to switch to the dough hook and add the rest of the flour until the dough is sticky and starts pulling away from the sides of the bowl. All right, so now that the dough is sticky and all mixed together, I'm gonna take a metal bowl and spray it with some Pam, and I'm gonna put the dough in this bowl, cover it with um, a dishcloth, and I'm gonna set it somewhere warm until it rises. 
Hopefully it will double in size. <laughs> All right, so let's make the filling for our cinnamon buns. So you're gonna start with a quarter cup of soft butter. I put it in the microwave for probably 10 seconds just to make sure it was really soft. Not melted, just soft. I'm adding a half a cup of brown sugar. I lightly packed it into my measuring cup. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cinnamon and I'm gonna mix this all together until it, I guess, basically resembles a paste. So. While you're mixing this, your dough will be rising and it needs to rise for about 30 minutes. So you have 30 minutes to make the inside filling for your cinnamon buns. Once it's ready, just set it aside until your dough is ready. <laughs> now that my dough is ready, I'm going to flour my work surface and I'm going to roll my dough out into some sort of a rectangle shape. Um, the best that I can. I do realize now that I've rolled them out that I rolled them out probably a little too thin, but that's okay. I'll do better next time. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my filling and spread it all out. This was kind of difficult. Now that I'm, I'm you know, making these, I realize that next time, I'm just gonna butter the dough and sprinkle everything on. No point in making a paste, but I'm following this recipe today, so I'm gonna do it how it says, and we'll see how it turns out in the end. All right, so with the cinnamon sugar all spread out onto your dough, you're just gonna roll your dough up. I like to fold in uh, my edges. I don't know why, I just do. So roll it all up. Take a pan, put some Pam in it or grease it, however you want. Then you're going to cut your cinnamon rolls into whatever size and however many you want to cut them into. And you're going to place them in your pan. Then you're going to cover it again with a dishcloth or a dish towel, tea towel, and let them rise again. So you're going to let them rise for probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes. What I did is I put them somewhere warm and I actually left them overnight so that I could bake them in the morning. All right, so fast forward to the next morning. So this morning, this is how my, my cinnamon rolls look. Because I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm using yeast in a recipe, my cinnamon rolls really didn't puff up much more. So that's a little disappointing, but I'm learning, so that's good. Next, I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of room temperature heavy cream, probably a little bit more than a quarter cup, and just pour it over top of the cinnamon rolls. And this is supposed to give them more of a, like a, I don't know, caramel, ooey gooeyness on the bottom of them. So we'll see, I've never done this before. So I'm looking forward to it. And now I'm gonna just go preheat the oven and wait to put these in. So my oven is preheated to 375. They baked for about 20 to 25 minutes and this is how they look. So it created a bit of a sauce around them. It's bubbling, they're golden brown. Now I just gotta let them cool down and make the icing. All right, so my brain was not working this morning. It did not have enough coffee because when I made this icing, the bowl was too small. So I had to eventually put it in a bigger bowl. Anyway, let's continue on. So I mixed up one brick of cream cheese or one block, six ounces. Um, and then I creamed that together with one third cup of soft butter. Mix it all up until it is all smooth and creamy. Then you're gonna start adding in very slowly two cups of icing sugar. Once that's mixed together, you're gonna add in half a tablespoon of maple syrup. Keep mixing until it is smooth and silky and all the icing sugar is completely mixed in. Then we're ready to put it onto the cinnamon buns when they come out of the oven and have cooled a little bit so this doesn't melt too much. All right, so my cinnamon buns have cooled down for a little bit. They're still hot, so the icing is going to melt a little bit. 
So I'm just putting on a couple spoonfuls of the icing, spreading them around, and then I'm going to take a spatula, take one out, and see how they actually turned out. All right, you guys, so I took them out of the oven. You saw me take them out, put the cream cheese frosting on them, and now I'm gonna try one. So they look like they turned out okay. Um, they're not as big and fluffy as I had hoped. They didn't rise well overnight. This is me just learning how to use yeast. I just don't do this very often, so I, I don't know how to make it perfect yet. Not that they're ever perfect, but I'm going to keep trying. One of my goals for this year is learn how to make more bread recipes using yeast and how to properly, properly, oh my gosh, tongue tied this morning, properly activate it so that it works. So here's the cinnamon bun and it looks good. It's, it is fluffy. It's soft. It's gooey. Mm. Icing is delicious. Um, the milk made it sort of um, kind of like a caramel sauce in the bottom of it, which is kind of cool. I think next time I'll put a little bit of milk, just a tiny bit in the bottom of the pan and then put the cinnamon buns in it to rise and then pour more on top after they've risen. So anyway, it looks good. Um, let me grab a fork and give it a try. All right, let's give this a little bite. It's very good. I probably could have left them in just a little bit longer. They they are still a little doughy. So I left them in for about the 20, 22 minutes. They were starting to get brown on top. Um, yeah, they could have been left in longer. So next time I think I'll put the tin foil on top, cook them for an extra like 10 minutes and let them let the middles cook up more and hopefully the tops won't get too brown. So I haven't made these in like, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years. And I think when I did make them, I used a bread machine to make the dough and then I just rolled them and put them in a pan, let them rise. So this was my first time making them from scratch and they look pretty. I'm not too happy with them. I'm going to try it again, see what I can do different figure something out but anyway the recipe itself was great um I have no problems with the recipe it was completely on me my fault didn't know how to do the yeast didn't cook them long enough <laughs> should have put the tin foil over it give this recipe a try let me know how you did what you did different um hopefully somebody can you know give me some suggestions on what I could do to make these better so that's it for today Thank you for watching my first video of 2024. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Um, I have a lot planned for this year, so we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for my next video.